Hi, Carol here. Welcome to my craft room. And speaking of craft room, we're going to be using craft cardstock <laughs> for this Christmas card today. And I think you're really going to like it. We're going to use the Alta New Cardinal set and the Alta New um, Poinsettia and Pine. And then for the Sentiment Stampin' Ups Christmas Lodge, which is beautiful. The Alta New Cardinal set is wonderful when using Perfect Pearls because it's a four stamp set meaning you start out with the base and you work your way up to build dimension and it's beautiful. So you can take your sticky ink Versamark or you can use the Perfect Medium by Ranger to set the Perfect Pearls on. Now I'm going to use both to show you the difference. There's not much but one is a little stickier than the other and we'll see that as we go along. I set the branch from the cardinal set by Altenew down at the bottom and then this four stamp cardinal image. You'll see how beautiful it looks as we carry on to set the powders down one step at a time. I think Perfect Pearl Powder is a hidden treasure that we have in our craft rooms. I bought mine way back when, when I started to make cards, and you know, I just don't take it out enough, and it is beautifully stunning on this type of Versamark ink, or the uh, Perfect Medium by Ranger. It sets in immediately, and if you're going to use multiple colors, you can also buy a fixative, or you can use hairspray, or a fine mist of water to set the Perfect Pearls. Either will work. So I've taken two different shades of green and a brown and I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to lightly put it over top of the um, Versamark that I set down here. Then I'll take a makeup poofy brush and I'm going to wipe off the excess and whatever color that adheres to the Versamark will stay there. And I chose to use an actual fixative that I bought at Michael's. I chose this Alta New Cardinal set because of the four layers. I'll be able to use different colors as I apply the Versamark down on the craft cardstock. So I took out my Prisma white pencil and my Derwent white pencil. Either or is they work beautifully. You can use one or the other and I just trace out this uh, branch exactly as it's stamped out with the white pencil and I think it adds just a beautiful element as we follow along stamping our cardinal out. You'll see how wonderful this looks on craft cardstock all together. Okay, so first we're going to put down the uh, full stamp, the stamp that has the most um, surface on it, and that's your first one. And I'm going to stamp that out, and it's going to be in your lightest color. And then we'll build up to a dark base as we do it step by step. Now look how nice that sticky Versa mark goes down on the cardstock. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to take my lightest color here and it is this stunning turquoise blue. And I'm going to apply it onto the first layer of the cardinal which is the full surface stamp. And then I'll take the poofy powder brush and I'll wipe it off. That's what I was doing over my garbage can. I'll spray it with the final fixative. And it looks wet. And it looks like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> it dries wonderfully. It dries like you didn't spray anything on there. So no need to worry. Hairspray will be the same. And a mist of water will set your perfect pearls as well. I like the vibrancy that Perfect Pearl Powder gives you. And now I moved on and this I set with the the next one I set with the stickier and, uh, ink and that is the Perfect Medium by Ranger. And I'm going to outline in the white Prisma pencil the first stamp that we stamped down, the full surface. Now this is the second uh, stamp that I'm doing a darker blue and you notice that I took a face cloth and I just wiped over it with the um, with water and that sets it as well and then when I applied the third stamp right here I'm going to go over the second stamp outline with my white Prisma pencil or the Inktense pencil whichever you prefer just so we can see each 
individual stamped image with the white. I think it looks beautiful. I applied some more fixative to set the perfect pearl, but like I said, you can use a fine water mist. And now we're going to apply the last, which is the fourth image, and I'm going to apply this one with the perfect uh, pearl medium. I want it to be really sticky because this is going to be the actual feathers. And I'm going to use a silver gray on this, and it's stunning with the blue and the greens that we applied right, look at that. And in, I'm telling you, in real life, this card is stunning. This bird, you can see all four steps. And now I'll take the Inktense White Pencil and I will set it aside because I want to outline the feathers. I want to give it just a little bit more dimension with the white pencil and then we'll move on. And you can see that that fixative is drying. But first of all, we need to do the feet, the little bird feet. And I'm going to do that with my black detailed ink and set it on there because I do want to have a pop of uh, black with the white and the color on this craft card stock. It uh, really does stand out and I do the same thing with the little eyeball. I'm also going to stamp it with the detailed black ink and then I add some um, clear embossing powder. I don't know if I show it here but I did that so that it would not um, as my hand was moving across to do the poinsettias, it would not smudge. I wanted to add these little berries on the branch because I had this deep, kind of a loganberry, raspberry, um, perfect pearl color that I wanted to add to this Distress Ink because Distress Inks will hold perfect pearl powder down just like your Versamark will and it looks stunning. And then you can go back in, add any detail you want with your Prisma pencil. And here it is, that beautiful Razzleberry, Loganberry type color, perfect pearl. It's beautiful. And look at that. You just go over top, take your blush brush, remove the excess, and it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'm going to show you the Altenew set we're going to use later on, which is the Poinsettia and Pine. It's beautiful. And then we're going to use a uh, the ripe persimmon is the uh, distressing that I used for the little berries before I put the perfect pearls on top. And now I'm just cleaning up my stamps with a face cloth that I keep on hand and um, putting the perfect pearls. I wipe the lids off and put them away. Clean up my mat. This is a Wilton mat, by the way. Uh, if you're looking for a nice rubber mat to put down for heat absorption. Another nice element to use is the end of a pencil eraser. Make sure it's nice and smooth and then dip it in. This is Stampin' Up! white ink and I just dip the end of the pencil into the ink, the eraser part, and I dab it down on the craft card stock and it looks beautiful. Then I'm going to put these beautiful poinsettias down with the same ink from Stampin' Up! Uh, placement wherever you think looks pretty. Love poinsettias. And then I heat set it with clear embossing powder. The next step is so easy. Take two of your favorite red colored pencils or you could actually um, use uh, watercolors, whatever you like. But I like the two Prisma pencils. I picked out kind of like a red, Christmas red and a cranberry so I could get, you know, uh, kind of like a shaded look. And then I just go over the top. You don't have to press down. Um, now, if you wanted to use the uh, watercolor pencils, that would be great too. But you're not using watercolor paper here, so I was afraid to add any more water than was necessary. Especially if you're going to mist your perfect pearls with uh, a fine mist sprayer. I would just use uh, pencil crayons of any sort. Today, I chose to use the Prisma pencils and look how pretty that looks. There they are there and you have yourself a beautiful card. Now what I decided to do here totally makes the card and that is using that Snow Stampendous Glitter. I love this. It's got chunky granules I, and it flicked off of the poinsettia, poinsettia flowers here but I didn't care because it looked beautiful and wait till you see you just put your heat tool 
underneath, that's what sets it, the heat from underneath your cardstock with your heat tool uh, melts that powder and the granules beautiful. Here's where I decided to cut that off and get another piece of craft cardstock and I'm going to put the Merry Christmas on a layer underneath this. So I'm just scoring it here to see where I need to cut an extra, I'd say half an inch underneath there for the greeting and it worked out beautiful. I think it adds a different look when you're doing this and I also took some deep turquoise Stampin' Up cardstock and there you can see how the fixative went through the other side of the cardstock but does not show on the front at all. So um, that's good to see that you're not going to get any of those oils on the front but it does absorb to the back of the card. And now I'm going to lay it down on this beautiful turquoise with just a tad of the same color in our beautiful cardinal, the blue. Then I'm going to place this on the cardstock. And you can see that half an inch on the bottom. I'm going to score it with my Teflon bone folder. And then we're going to use the Stampin' Up! beautiful sentiment that I use from the Christmas Lodge set. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use the detail black and I'm just going to use my eyeballs here <laughs> to see that that's straight because I thought if it wasn't I'm going to have to chop that off and <laughs> move to plan B but it did work and then I put some clear embossing powder over it. You can notice how I hold it steady with my left hand as I am stamping it out. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful sentiment? Now you're going to take your clear embossing powder and just put a little bit over top there and heat set it and we're heading down to the finish line. I think it's a quick beautiful Christmas card. I love the Stampendous uh, granules that I received as a gift from my friend Tanya and I told you I was going to use that again on yesterday's card <laughs> and I put a, the double sided tape to lift it up from that great big honk and roll of tape that we get and I cut one on each side and then I put a middle layer down right here and I think I had to go answer the phone that's why I left it right there and now I came up use a little bit of the extra take it off apply it to the top then I grab my corner rounder by We Are Memory Keepers and I take off the corners just to take off the sharp edge and you're going to want, there's a little bit of the craft showing on each side of the card and isn't that sweet? An easy peasy Christmas card using perfect pearls. Okay you have yourself a blessed week. I hope this inspired you to uh, get out your perfect pearls and uh, remember that you can use a fixative, hairspray or water mist to set them. And you have yourself a blessed week. We'll see you on the next card.